today we are going to start this new content fixed points of bilinear transformation and the definition is the points which coincide with their transforms under a bilinear transformation are called fixed points suppose there is a point z in the z plane and a point w in the w plane then for the fixed points w should be equal to z right okay consider the bilinear transformation w equal to az plus b over cz plus d with the condition that ad minus bc is non zero so for the fixed points we have to put w equal to z over here so writing w as z to get the fixed points this is z equal to az plus b over cz plus d taking the denominator to the other side that gets multiplied with this z and then you will get the quadratic equation in z that is cz square plus d minus a into z minus b is equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation in z right okay so now the cases arises let c is non zero first then the roots of this quadratic equation are yes this is a minus d plus minus the discriminant that is d minus a whole square plus 4bc divided by 2c these are the roots of z right so these are the fixed points so if discriminant is non zero we get two fixed points that is a minus d with positive sign plus square root of i am writing this as d that is the discriminant over 2 c and the other fixed point is a minus d with negative sign square root of discriminant over 2 c So these are the fixed points when this discriminant is non-zero and c is non-zero, right? Now, if d is zero, if discriminant is zero, then we get two roots, two equal roots, right? Which means we get one fixed point that is z equal to a minus d over 2c. So when d is 0 and c is non zero we get only one fixed point please remember this the other case is let c is equal to 0 and d is non zero then the transformation becomes this transformation becomes if you put c equal to 0 over here you get az plus b over d so for c equal to 0 we get the transformation as w equal to a over dz plus b over d is it fine okay let me put this in another way first so when c equal to 0 you get az plus b over cz c is 0 so here it is d which can also be written as a over dz plus b over d now is it fine all right now for the fixed points we have to put w equal to z to get the fixed points so putting w equal to z we get z equal to a over d into z plus b over d taking a over dz to the other side and taking z common i get z into 1 minus a over d is equal to b over d so finally i get z equal to this is b over d minus a right and the another fixed point i can get from the roots of the quadratic equation so z equal to a minus d plus minus square root of discriminant over 2c these are the two roots of the quadratic equation in z that is your transformation right so from here also if i take the c to be as zero i get z equal to infinity for c equal to 0. 
so I get two fixed points. One is finite and the other is infinite. Right? So if a minus d is non-zero, I get the fixed point as b over d minus a and infinity from the values of the roots of z. Right? And if a minus d is zero, that is if this denominator is zero, then I get z equal to infinity for the fixed points. We get two finite fixed points if c is non-zero and the discriminant is non-zero where this discriminant is equal to d minus a whole square plus 4bc. Right? Okay. We get only one fixed point if c is non-zero and when the discriminant is zero. This is the case one, right? And for the case two, we get two fixed points. One is finite and the other is infinite for c equal to zero and a minus d non-zero. And then we get only one infinite fixed point for c equal to 0 and when a minus d is equal to 0. So this is what is all about the conclusion. Thank you so much.